Who is Hunter Biden? other than the son of the president. Well, there's mounting, mounting scrutiny over his foreign business ties, as the New York Times is now suing the State Department for dragging its feet on handling of, of emails regarding Hunter. And a new report reveals a U.S. diplomat by the name of George Kent warned of his position, Hunter's, at Burisma, writing in an email, quote, someone in Washington needed to engage VP Biden quietly and say that his son Hunter's presence undercut the anti-corruption message the VP and we were advancing in Ukraine. That's from 2016, I believe. Have the Bidens been caught red-handed? What does it all mean? Our next guest wrote a whole book on the topic. Joining us right now is Peter Schweizer, the brand new book. Uh, is going to debut at the number one position in the New York Times bestseller list. It's called Red Handed, How American Elites Get Rich Helping China Win. Peter, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Great to be with you. So does it surprise you that this U.S. diplomat saying in 2016 when Joe Biden is vice president, hey, the vice president's son's screwing this up? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, but it also speaks to the fact that at least uh, certain elements in the bureaucracy seem to be much more interested in protecting the first family than American interests. Because remember, they testified during the impeachment hearings that, uh, no, there were really very few concerns about Hunter Biden. And now we know, of course, that there were. So this is a big problem. And by the way, the suggestion in that email that they should engage Vice President Biden Vice President Biden was point man on Ukraine. He had to know what his son was doing was undermining the anti-corruption efforts in Ukraine. I just think it's a question that the Bidens didn't really care. Well, as um, another guy by the name of Peter, Peter Ducey, asked the, the then candidate, Joe Biden, have you ever talked to your son about your overseas business dealings? And extraordinarily, Joe Biden said no. <laughs> That's hard to believe. Yeah, it's very hard to believe, especially when you look through the Hunter Biden laptop like I have and some of the emails from his business partners. Uh, and we even know now from other reporting that, that they did communicate about these things. And even more importantly, Steve, as I point out in the book, they commingled funds. Uh, Hunter Biden was subsidizing his father's lifestyle. I'm sure his father wanted to know or knew where that money was coming from. And of course, that money was coming from overseas. Well, the U.S. attorney has been looking in Hunter Biden's uh, tax problems since I think 2018. So it'll be interesting if they ever reveal how they're intertwined. In the meantime, extraordinary news. The New York Times is suing the uh, Department of State, Joe Biden's Department of State, because they are stonewalling. They said, yeah, the soonest we can get you that information is 2023, which is just kicking the can so far out of the realm. The New York Times is saying, we're taking you to court. Why is suddenly, Peter, the New York Times interested in this stuff? Because, you know, a year or so ago, it was only you and us. Yeah, no, that's right. I mean, this is very interesting. Uh, the reporter behind this, by the way, I think it's Ken Vogel, uh, is, is a good reporter. I, my experience has always been he's a good reporter. I think a lot of these newsrooms, you had management that did not want to cover these stories. They were sort of putting their fingers on the scale as far, as far as politics are concerned. And I honestly think part of the calculation is, Steve, that they see that Joe Biden is struggling as president. He's probably not going to be here for very long. Um, I think this represents a turn, as it were, as far as some of the uh, news publications management is concerned. So I think this is an important development. Uh, I wish they were covering the China relationships with the Bidens. Sure. This involves Romania, uh, but still it's an important story and it speaks to the pattern of corruption that exists in the Biden family as it relates to these overseas dealings. Sure. The big question is, would Joe Biden be president had these news outfits done the story before the election. Uh, anyway, read all about it in, in Peter's number one New York Times bestseller, Red Handed, How American Elites Get Rich Helping China Win. And he's in the brand new special, Who is Hunter Biden, now streaming on Fox Nation. Peter, thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, it's great to see you, Steve. Thank you, sir.